The double murder trial of Alec Murdoch had many around the world tuning in and put a spotlight on the small city of Walterboro. Now, nearly two months after that verdict, people are traveling from near and far to get a free bailiff led tour of the Colleton County Courthouse. Emily Zuhowski gives us an inside look. This is where it happened. Let's go in. Susan Fowler traveled from Florida with her husband and sister to see the Colleton County Courthouse, the site of the Alec Murdoch double murder trial. I watched every bit of the trial on court TV. I mean, I, every day I, I moved, um, you know, um, hair appointments around because I remember that I had my hair appointment when Alec Murdoch was going to stand. I'm like, I'm not missing his. Fowler is like many others who follow the trial and have since traveled to Walterboro. The curiosity started almost immediately after the verdict. They would come on inside. We tell them we'd take them on a tour and it grew from there. So we're given like 10 tours a day to like 10 groups a day. They've come from all over the country, from California to Idaho and the world, from Nova Scotia to England. This is the holding cell that we kept him in while he was at the courthouse. The tour starts at the holding cell, then heads outside. This is where we brought him in and out every day. The bailiff sharing anecdotes from the trial. But once he got in this room, we put handcuffs on him or took them off, whichever. And perhaps what most want to see, the courtroom. Mr. Buster Murdoch's portrait is back on the wall, so they take pictures of that. The free tour ends with the jury room. Although just about 20 minutes long, these tours have continued to make an impact on Walterboro's economy. For the good or for the bad, it got Walterboro's name out and people want to see us. And so we're, we're really happy that people want to come see the town when it's not during the trial. And they want you to come check it out for yourself. We will take you on a tour. If we have sweet tea, we'll serve it up with lemon. In Walterboro, Emily Zuhowski, Live 5 News.